At this point, you have Bazel installed and you understand some of the various components in Bazel. It's time to put Bazel to work. For that, we're going to write a simple joke generator. This is a command line application that when run, will tell a simple knock knock joke. We're going to write this all in Java. Mind you, I'm only going to cover the Bazel aspects. If you are unfamiliar with Java, then just simply follow along. I'll briefly review the code, but that's not the point of this episode. Rather, we want Bazel to actually build something. Why Java? Well, it's because it's supported by Bazel right out of the box. Don't worry, we'll get to other languages later in this course. One of Bazel's most powerful features is its ability to be extended to support other programming languages. We'll be using some of those other languages soon enough. To get started, create a new folder on your desktop and call it Joke Generator. Now I'll open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Feel free to use that or another editor will do just fine. The first thing to do is create a workspace. Create a new file and call it workspace in all caps. Okay, we're going to use Java, which is included with Bazel. You'll notice that I have a green heart next to my workspace. This is because I have the Bazel extension installed in Visual Studio Code, which gives me syntax highlighting and formatting. Okay, before we write the build file, we need to write our console app. We'll start with the directory structure. Create a new file called src, or source. Next, we'll create a folder called main, and then a folder called resources. This is where our jokes will go. I'm going to create six text files named one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to add a knock knock joke to each one of them. Each joke will only have five lines. Okay, now to create our knock knock joke class. And now in the main folder, create a folder for Java, com, and example. Then create a file called knock knock.java. Okay, first we're going to declare a package for our file. Next, we'll import a series of classes that we'll be using. With that done, let's define our knock knock class. We'll set a constant for the number of jokes we're using. Make sure to adjust this number based on the number of joke files that you created. We're going to create a method that will print out a joke that will throw an exception. We're not going to be dealing with any exceptions though. Next, we're going to create a file name based on the joke number. Then we'll open up the file and prep it for reading. Now we'll read the file and print it out on the screen. We'll print it out one line at a time based on when the user taps the return or enter key. Okay, let's create a method to get a random joke. Here we just get a random number from one to the total joke number. Finally, let's create a main method to actually run our joke generator. Okay, we have our app set up. Now let's write our build file. Create a new build file 
in the knock knock folder alongside our workspace folder. We're going to create a simple target and we'll be using a Java binary. This is the function name defined by the Bazel rules for the Java language. Next, we'll give it the name knock knock. Now we need to signify all the source files. For this, we'll use a Bazel function called glob. Glob allows us to find files based on file matching. In this case, we want to get all the Java files, which is one. The build is going to create a jar, so we need to designate the class that has the main method. In this case, this is the knock knock class. Finally, we need to designate our jokes. For this, we use the resources argument, passing in our list of text files. And believe it or not, that's it. That's our build file. At this point, it's time to run the build. For this, I'm going to open my terminal view. Now in my terminal window, I'm going to call my build target. I do this by calling basil build. Next, we need to provide the package. We'll start with two forward slashes, followed by the directory structure of the build target. Since the build target is found in the top level directory, there's no need to provide any subdirectory names. After which we provide the target that we want to build, and we use the name that we defined in the build file, which is knock knock, at which point the build kicks off. In the process, it creates four folders, basil bin, basil joke generator, basil out, and basil test logs. The basil bin directory is a symlink to the most written bin directory. The basil joke generator is the working directory for all actions that took place in your build. The basil out directory is a symlink to the output path. And finally, the basil test logs is the results of all your unit tests. For greater detail, see the basil output directory layout documentation. Now run our app. Bazel allows us to do this right from the command line. Enter the following command. Mind you, if you entered this command without first building the project, Bazel will actually run the build. So you could actually skip running Bazel build and jump right over to Bazel run. And with that, our knock knock joke is printed to the console. As you can see, this was a simple demonstration of Bazel. In the next episode, we're going to scale it up by compiling a native mobile app for both iOS and Android.